Hey there and welcome to Matt's Garage and another uh, Hyundai Santa Fe repair video. I wasn't even going to make a repair video on this but then it seems like it's going to be more complex than I thought and I figured I'd better make this to help other people. So the problem here is with my uh, cargo hatch. You can see a bit of the problem right here. That's been rubbing really badly on the sill there when it, it latches to the point where in the winter time it sometimes wasn't latching. And it almost gassed me once this winter because it didn't latch and it let in exhaust. So I figured the solution would be to loosen these four 13 millimeter bolts on the hinges and slide the hatch ahead, which would effectively lift it up. These hinges are worn on the hinge point and the whole hatch has dropped as a result. I would close it and uh, demonstrate, but I've already removed one bolt to see that there is actually no adjustment in there. But seriously, it was almost contacting the tail lights, and it was dropped down from the roof. You'll just have to take my word on that now. So what I'm going to have to do is use these little carbide burrs, and I'm just going to use them in my drill so I don't have bits spraying all over the interior. And I'm going to have to carve these holes out a little bit. I'm just going to undo one hinge at a time, leave the other one to hold the hatch on, and uh, and carve those out so that those bolts can uh, slide ahead a bit in that bracket. Okay, so we have to basically notch this area out up here. I'm actually going to uh, just go by those kind of washer marks on there. I don't know if you can see those, but I'll be taking it out that much. Okay, here we are about 15 minutes later and I was able to get in there with my uh, bigger burr and uh, make pretty quick work of that. I just have to clean up the uh, the shavings in here, the metal filings after. Uh, but uh, this is ready to go back on. I'm going to go ahead and bolt that up loosely, get this side off and get it to the, the same point and then I'll, uh, I'll get back with you. Interestingly enough, I can't really get any movement out of this hinge. So maybe it was just uh, that poorly aligned from the factory, but all I know is it's it's rubbing to the point where it's jamming shut on us and stuff. And uh, as I said, sometimes doesn't latch all the way. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the latch at the same time here and make sure that it's closing really tightly on the seal, but we've had problems with exhaust uh, getting vacuumed into the cargo bay here. Maybe I just didn't find a sweet spot on the other one, but this one definitely has a lot of play in it. So uh, I don't think it was a factory issue. I think it's something that wore in in time. Anyways, I'll get some oil in there on those pins before I'm done as well. Okay, you can see I did the same thing over here. And the reason why I'm not just taking a bigger drill bit and, and drilling these out bigger is to actually get the the amount of movement this way that I want, I would have to make them so big there wouldn't be much uh, left of this hinge and it might cause it to break in an accident or something. So this is the proper way to, to just ream it out on the side that I need it to move. And so I've done that and I'm just going to put it back together, oil that up. I'll just squirt some, some oil in there and it'll seep into the, the pin there. And then we'll uh, see if we need to align the, the latch as well to get things where we want. Okay, well I was able to get that. You can actually see how far I moved it right there. And right there. So about an eighth of an inch, which doesn't seem like much, but that's all I really need. And one thing I had to do to get the movement is disconnect the, uh, the lift struts. I just had to disconnect the side I was moving the hinge on. So one at a time so that it was easy to still hold the hatch up but these uh basically put so much pressure this way that i wasn't able to slide the uh the hatch that way okay let's see how it closes now i haven't tried it yet it feels better it looks a lot better looks a lot better lines up with the roof nicely now you can see those those lights line up and there's a nice gap there, lines up at the end. It's actually a little high on this side, if anything. But it's a little loose in there still. 
and I've got a rattly hatch. So I think I'm gonna see if I can tighten that up. It's not rubbing anymore, which is great. But uh, we're just gonna loosen up these 10 millimeter bolts here, three of them. And we should be able to, uh, to move that latch that way, I believe. If I move it that way, it'll tighten it up a little. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay guys, I'm happy to report I'm all done. I did uh, actually adjust this one back a little bit just so I could get that perfect gap everywhere. And I adjust it that a little bit that way. And uh, there's not much adjustment here, but I got just enough out of it. And uh, now it closes nice and solid. You can see my gaps and it lines up with the roof and it doesn't doesn't have any rattle in it now so it's nice and tight on the seal that's important because if it's rattling it's going to wear out the latch and uh, more importantly it's going to let in exhaust fumes when the when it gets too loose on the seal and it's not compressed and fully sealed so i do f hope you found this video helpful and informative thanks a lot for watching matt's garage and don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourself a great day